Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Fixed Land, and welcome to Xbox Game Pass for PC. Uh, and happy Halloween. Today uh, is Halloween. That is to say, when I say today, I mean the day I'm publishing the video. You may be watching this anytime that day or afterwards, of course, but uh, if you are watching it on Halloween, happy Halloween to you. And I thought it might be fun to have a Halloween special. So we are going to try World of Horror. Uh, I don't know uh, much about the game. It is a game preview, so-called. Um, and just from looking at some of the, uh, I've watched the, this little trailer here and looked at some of the screenshots. Um, so I know very little about it. <laughs> uh, it says this game is a work in progress. It may or may not change over time and may not release as a final product. So we shall see. Um, Navigate this hellish, roguelike reality through turn-based combat and unforgiving choices in this cosmic horror RPG. So, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, and I will point out that it is rated M for mature, intense violence, and blood. So, uh, you may want to take that into consideration. But let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, here we are. Now, isn't, isn't this kind of cool? It's like you're looking, it's framed by this, um, it's like you're looking at an old CRT monitor. So it has this, this extremely retro aesthetic, which kind of, a, it, which is what caught my eye in the first place. So it, um, uh, It just seemed pretty cool. Um, let's take a look at the options here because there was something kind of cool. Um, you can you can change the the palette. Right now we're we're looking at the standard palette. Uh, but this is abyssal, spiral, found footage, seaside, retro dark, retro light. LED, <laughs> Uncanny Black, Neo 80S, ADS, Monolith. So, <laughs> uh, if you want to, you know, look at the entire game hot pink, you can. Um, shrouded. Yikes. Wood. <laughs> Honey. So we could just we could just sit here and flip. <laughs> um, Wow, they, they really went crazy here, didn't they? How do we get back to the default? Motherface? There we go, standard. I, I suppose we'll just play the standard because um, it's just far too many choices. Um, so I guess we can get rid of this border if we wanted, maybe. Oh, I see. I think it's kind of cool, actually. Um, all right, let's go ahead and uh, start a game. We'll close out of that. And new story. Oh, Would you like to customize your next playthrough's look? There are many color palettes. Okay. Um, and display modes to choose from. I think that's what we've been just flipping through. Two bit, one bit. We'll just stick with one bit. <laughs> uh... That's okay, I think we already looked at those. We'll just continue for the moment. If that's your first time playing World of Horror, or if it is, you could say, uh, it is recommended that you start with the spine-chilling story of School Scissors option before trying more complex playthroughs. <laughs> um, spine-chilling story of School Scissors. Sure, we'll... Huh. <laughs> All right. Um, 
Is this the difficulty? Uh, let's see. Death mode random. Death mode last stand. Starting new encounters will kill you if you drop below one stamina slash reason, but you can drop you can drop to negative five in combat. This option will allow you to rethink your strategy, forget spells, or use a healing item. Sudden death. Um, I guess we'll go with the last stand. What's this? Difficulty, I guess? Random difficulty. Uh, we'll go with normal. That's what I usually do, but we'll, we'll try the... The spine-chilling story of School Scissors. A tiny section of a standard playthrough showcasing one of the available mysteries. Sure. Okay. City of Shiakawa, Japan, 1980-something. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The, oh, okay. Uh, the rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also unknown threats. Um, is this the comfort? Not sure. Old gods, malicious, eldritch, eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. And in your Nissan Sentra 200 SX. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. I had a car much like that, actually, my first car. A Nissan 200SX it was. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand. Because the train stopped at the last station? Uh, and you have finally arrived in the doomed town. Whoa, what? The story so far? Welcome to World of Horror. Important, important messages will appear here. Okay. Cauterize. Level 1, experience 0. I have no idea. Those look like bullets. Is this us? Okay, so we've got, like, role-playing stats. Um, May 31st, 1984. What do I do? <laughs> uh, items. Okay. No weapon. Nothing and nothing. Spells. Status. Those are blank. What's this? Options. Oh, those are the same options. Uh, okay, exit. Confirm. No, 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 no. What? I've perished because I clicked back to menu. In this in this run, you didn't do jack. Continue. <laughs> okay. Um I'm not sure what I did wrong. Let's, let's try this again. We'll, we'll try it again. I don't know what I did wrong. I won't click on options, I guess. It is a game preview, so we can expect that uh, it might not work perfectly, I suppose. Nissan 200SX. Old train, end of the world. Welcome. Okay, now I won't click on that. Can we click on the map? Oh, I click on the story so far. Okay. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now. 
barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time. And you can't rest until our town is safe. Combat tutorial. Now, I think I want that on. Start the mystery. It's, it's all pretty mysterious. Okay, spine-chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? I don't honestly know. <sighs> it's a good thing I've got something to drink here because my whistle is getting dry. The school is eerily quiet at this hour. What hour is it? Uh, your friend, your missing friend has left you a notebook, yes. If the, rumors are, if the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil, and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. Yeah, I guess so. Um, access your storage, okay. Um, okay. Where I've retrieved an item from storage. Uh, I don't. Am I holding it in my hand? Um. Okay, so we're looking at the diary. This one's crossed out. Something a strange tall woman has been following me all day. I must hurry up. <laughs> this is, is it sigil? Gonna weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. Mary is acting strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. Smudge, smudge. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. Okay. Uh, candles hidden in one of the classrooms. Okay. Available actions. Additional information. Okay. okay. They're all, the rest are grayed out. Or as close to gray as the, the game can come. Alright. Okay. Uh, back. Alright. Uh, we did that. Explore school. Why not? Um, anatomy class? Okay. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Lose one stamina. This is our stamina, I guess. What's this, reason? Okay. Resolve this event. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Oh, we couldn't find the blessed chalk or the holy candles. Drat. Explore school. Trophy case. You find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. We'll check the plaques and trophies. Luck check. Success. Huh. It seems the person involved with the current case was a prize-winning swimmer. Yes, we'll resolve this event, whatever that means. 
It seems that the blessed chalk was left on the roof. Of course. That blessed chalk. You must hurry and find it. Uh, okay, I guess we'll peek outside. Uh, to open the door, click on the handle and drag the mouse with the mouse button pressed. Fuck! Ah. <laughs> that scared me. <sighs> that actually scared me. Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't risk that again. Well, you know what? We're going to. I don't... Come on. You gotta let me do what I want to do. It's not gonna let me do it again. <laughs> Alright, well, it succeeded in startling me once. Uh, something evil stalks the empty school corridors. Uh, okay. It's not gonna let us do that. Peek outside. Nope. Nope. We can't. Okay, we'll explore the school some more. Something is wrong. Yeah, I'd say so. A giant eye floating in the sky. Instead of a clear blue sky, sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long-forgotten deity looming over the school. <laughs> uh, something is wrong, yeah. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other eldritch horrors are still lurk here. Uh, sure, we'll try to sneak, I guess. Dexterity check. Failure. You raise your head in time to see Ath Yoloth, singular eye glaring down at you. You scream as your mind is flooded with forbidden knowledge and your skin is etched with ancient runes and curses. Well, we gained some experience. But our... Looks like we got some scarring going on there. Uh, resolve this event. Oh, we, we sustained a new injury. Cursed signs. Or... Cursed signs! Uh, oh, we found the blessed chalk, okay. Or blessed chalk. Which we can use to draw this sigil in your ritual. You copy it as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. Redraw or redraw? How about redraw? No, that's not it. No, it keeps getting worse and worse. I know what it... It should be correct now. Well, it's not. I think that it was like pentagram sort of thing, wasn't it? Um, okay, I guess we're going to go with that. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and try. The ritual is not ready. Why not? Cursed signs. Well, at least we were wearing our mask. Charred skin forms weird signs. Casting spells raises doom. Okay, I guess we're investigating the library. Um, you are investigating Park Guest? Park Guest? I thought we were in a school. Um, we're going to just X out of this. Uh, Park. I I'm not sure what's going on here. Ah, jeez. <laughs> This is not good for my heart. Um, the sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Uh, come on. Um, okay, explore school. Suddenly everything slows to a crawl. Yeah, I'd say it's been at a crawl for a while now. It's so brilliant. You see, it really makes you feel like it's crawling because it's it's actually crawling. Um, click. 
I just don't want any more monsters to jump out at me, that's all. Combat, okay. <clears throat> Here we go, something interesting. <sighs> During each turn, <laughs> uh, you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring B. Um, B, where... This B? Does anyone else understand what's going on? Um, once you fill the sequence bar C, press the launch sequence button to finish your turn. Oh, okay, B, this is the, our sequence of attacks. Okay. Once you fill the sequence bar, press the launch sequence button to finish your turn. Oh, here's the launch sequence button, okay. Um, now where is the... Okay, uh, I still don't understand. White bar. Okay, we can kick. And what's this? It looks like a knife or scissor. Um, kick, 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 and kick. Oh, I see, hit this thing. Yes, launch. Kick. Kick. What happened? With time, you will discover new combat moves available through the action filter A. But first, you need a weapon. F find and choose an action called Look for an Improvised Weapon. Find and choose an action called Look for an Improvised Weapon. <laughs> We have to find an action called Look for an Improvised Weapon. Where, where might that be? We feel older and weaker. This is a time warper, apparently. That we punched and kicked, and now we feel older and weaker. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Find and choose an action called Look for an Improvised Weapon. In, in this screen? Um, I don't... I don't... understand. Attack boost. Let's, let's do an attack boost, then kick, kick, and kick, and kick. Launch. Why can't we launch? Kick. Launch. Clear. Kick, 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 and kick. Launch. <sighs> Prepare your attack. Does anyone else... Here we go. Look for an improvised weapon. Launch. Um... Okay. You feel older. Are we still fighting? I love these time stamps on all our act and everything we do. Um. Did we find an improvised weapon? You found a new item, broken bottle. Okay, you duck down, grab an item lying on the ground, a broken bottle, and a classroom. Time Warper steals some of your lifespan. Okay, so we have a broken bottle. Can we use it now? Uh, where is the broken bottle? I don't know. Prep, prep, kick, kick, and kick. We punched him twice. He steals some of our lifespan. We're just gonna keep kicking. <sighs> we defeated the Time Warper. Yay.
You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual, finally. Perform. Wait, what's that? Is something gonna jump out again? Um, continue, I guess. I'm a little afraid. Uh, the sigil and the holy candles don't seem to have any effect on the horrible monster. Had you drawn it wrong? Frozen in fear, you watch as the twitching horror gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors and it croaks. Am I beautiful? Not particularly. Prepare for combat. Okay. Um, I guess. Twitching and twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? <laughs> yeah, not, not, not particularly. Scissor woman, horror. Okay, so this is combat, eh? Um, I'm not sure what happened to our broken bottle. <sighs> I really don't know. What is this? That's not working. Prepare your attack. Next attack is guaranteed to hit. That sounds good. Prep kick, prep kick. Okay. Okay. So we kicked her, or we damaged her a bit. She stabs us. Uh, she raises her scissors. We'll just try three kicks. How about that? Two health each time. You sustained a new injury. Slit mouth. Great. You feel your cheeks split in half. <laughs> Who's, who will be the first to go? Let's try this again. Prep, kick, prep, kick. Ouch. Uh, where are our hit points? I don't know. Um, all right, let's... let's Attack boost, why don't we try that? We'll just do an attack boost before each kick. Yeah, let's try that. Ow. Alright, she's down to six. Let's try that again. <sighs> Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> Resolve combat. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. The only thing left of her are the large scissors. You stare at them, unsure what to feel. Something tells you you want to keep them. You need them. Very slowly, you pick up the scissors and your mouth widens in a smile. <laughs> that was the spine-chilling story of School Scissors ending B. Well, that was interesting. Um, and gosh, look, look at that. We're out of time. What a shame. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for joining me. And if you stuck with me this long, kudos to you. And uh, do leave me a comment. I would appreciate it. And thanks for joining me once again. And happy Halloween. Take care. Bye bye.